It's noisy. <laughs> it's a Thursday. And I'm getting ready to go run down to the coast to go visit a dive shop down in Holden Beach. Check out some of their services. And see if I can uh, get a little bit of additional training on blowing bubbles. Why blow bubbles? To be honest, it's part of getting down on the scuba diving. So, underneath the tower, it's only 50 feet deep. But 50 feet deep is still, it's a long ways if you're holding your breath and you don't really have time to do anything. Not really. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some additional certification. We've got a couple different things. We've got a, I'm speaking quiet. I don't want to wake up my sweetie here. She's probably awake, but you know what I mean. So we've got um, a brownie's third lung. What's a brownie's third lung? Mm. Mm, good coffee. Such good coffee. A brownie's third lung is a basically a little dive compressor that sits above the water. Uh, in our case, it's one that's electrically powered and has a 120 foot of line on it. And it's 50 feet deep. So I can go down with just the regulator, set of fins and sort of thing. Quick, simple. And since I'm down there such a short period of time, go down, wipe the camera, get the little bit slime off of it and come right back up. Hmm. We also have a uh, diver's propulsion vehicle, a DPV, and that's a fancy way of saying we have an underwater scooter. But when the currents are moving really fast, uh, the DPV will help you hold yourself in position and go where you want to be or move things around. Because when the water moves, there's a huge amount of force behind the water. Mm. It's good. It's waking me up. Like uh, a bunch of you guys, I watched the debate last night. And I like what the kid said with her question at the very end. Because I think it's true. I know we agree and we disagree. But ultimately, we're all A- Americans, B, humans, and C, on this planet together. Same one that I'm out there looking at and spending time in. No matter how much we disagree this election time, let's work on a way to make things work out. Let's work together as much as we possibly can. Sometimes you have to start, stop arguing and start working. Boy, that was an over, oversimplification, wasn't it? Anyway. I will uh, get down to the coast and, um, like I say, uh, I'll post the link to the dive shop. It's a relatively new one. I think it's in Holden Beach right before you go over the bridge. And uh, Chris Canada is the guy that, that owns it. Seems like a good guy. And um, if you're in the area, swing by. He's not giving me anything for that. Mm. There's a lot of small business owners around this part of the world, actually all around the world, that are struggling to make ends meet. So if you have a way to help one out, do so, right? A brief tower trip Friday. And then... Uh, probably again in a week or two. Send out a, another volunteer email saying, sign up, join up, participate. Hmm. And uh, remember, if you go to smile.amazon.com and you have us linked, we get a penny or so. And if enough of you guys do it, we get a dollar or so. 
and we'll buy more steel. We definitely need to buy more steel. If you're a supporter, thank you. You are actually making the difference. So, sitting down on my computer, get started on my day. Take care, y'all.